What's up, guys? It's Tom here with Extreme Air Events. It is October 31st, 2021. Pulled the sleds out of the trailer. Time to do some maintenance. Very first thing I wanted to do this year, been following this on Facebook for a while, um, it's going to be headlights, okay? I'm going to show the installation of BeamTech LEDs. Uh, why did I choose BeamTech? They're freaking cheap, like 30 bucks for the set. So uh, we'll test them out this year. And uh, they have good reviews, so we'll see what they what it's like. It's a super easy install. So uh, I'm going to give you a little before and after video, see what they look like, and uh, hopefully some long-term down-the-road stuff. Uh, just as a side note, I hardly ever ride at night. Sometimes we come out in the dark, but it's down the trail usually. Um, there's been a couple of times over the years um, that... We've had to come out in the dark way late, but it's not very common. So uh, I've never really felt like headlights were a big deal for, for riding. Um, but I just recently put them in my truck, LED lights and all in my truck, everything, and they're fantastic. So I thought, what the heck? Let's try it in the old sled. So here we go. Okay, here's a video of the low beam against the garage door, high beam, low beam, high beam, that's stock, okay, this is high beam stock, I don't know if this is going to come out at all, but, okay, low beam stock, okay, so the installation is incredibly simple, um, if you watched my quote unquote glove box mod, um, if not, you know, I replaced the Torx with these thumb screws. Kind of makes it nice to get in and out of this, uh, this compartment. You can go watch that video. I'll post a link somewhere. Um, those are going to be Torx if it's stock, or you can put these little thumb screws. Since all of the new glove boxes are on back order and nobody can get them. We're gonna be dealing with this for a while, but uh, so all you gotta do is have access to your headlights, okay? Headlight plugs right here. All you're gonna do, okay, I should just unplug that or just move it out of the way. There we go. All you're gonna do is unplug, okay? That's the plug for your headlight. You look down in here it's got little like thumb thumb tabs or whatever right here and it just twists so it's gonna twist to the left and it's coming out okay okay these are the beam tech h13 as you can see the stock is an h13 bulb so I bought these on Amazon I'll put a link below 29 bucks or something like that and they are supposed to be a direct fit. Um, should be a high-low beam. We'll, we'll double check it here, but yeah, it's got the two LEDs, so it's a high-low. Um, and it's got the, so it should just lock in there. Let's give it a go. Looks like a really nice LED bulb. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are on the sled. And I don't know which direction these are going to go. It's got to kind of fit into the notch. So I think we're just going to have to keep spinning it. Until it kind of dropped. Oh, there it went. Right there. And we're going to go back towards the right. And it just locks in. So you can see that's to release to the left. To the right to lock. It's locked in. Now we're going to connect this connector to the factory connector. Okay. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Hang on. I got to do this uh, with two hands. Hang on. Okay. Got them snapped together, snapped right in. Uh, just took a little more force. Than I could do with one hand. So let's just for the fun of it, that's the 
Still got the stock one on the right. Beam Tech LED on the left. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Okay, you got LED on the right, stock on the left. You can tell it's a it's a lot wider, whiter of a light. Kind of hard to tell. But it does have high low. LED on the right, stock on the left. Okay, so here we are for the other one. Just gonna push down on that clip, pull it off, and you're gonna twist it to the, toward yourself if you're standing on the clutch side. Twist it to the left, pull it out. Okay, so we got the beam tech. Let me get that in there. Got to find where it... Okay, so it just pops in right there. We're going to go to the right. There it is. That's all it is. Just a little turn to the right. Plug in the connector. It can only go one way, so... Let's see if I can do this one-handed on this one. That's it. Push those wires down in there. Let's uh, fire it up, see what the difference is. Okay, these are the beam techs. Hi, hello, hi. They definitely are a lot wider. Much, lot, what, yeah, oh yeah, those babies are right. Let's see if I can put up a before and after but uh yeah pretty sweet okay so now you're just gonna put this back on comes back slides forward a little bit snaps down put your bolts back in you're done stay tuned my friends this is just the beginning oh yeah two stroke smoke in the shop gotta love it so uh stay tuned we got lots more coming this year should be a really fun season, so get your sleds out, get them ready, get some beam techs in there. Let's get ready to ride. Oh yeah, visit www.extremeairvents.com. Get your uh, turbo intakes. Gonna have some other sweet vents coming this year that I'm not ready to release, so stay tuned. Later, bye.